Hey guys, it's Gay Gay. Welcome back to my channel. This is today's look. I got a request on my Facebook page. My person wanted me to do a clean, light makeup look. So that's what we did today. Now I added lashes because I just had to have some lashes. But there is just a look without the lashes. So if you're interested in how I did this look, just stay tuned and watch the video. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing. It's appreciated. And I'll see you later. First, we're going to go in with a washed, moisturized face. Moisturize if you use moisturizer under your makeup. I'm not able to do that due to I have oily skin. So I wash my face and I go straight in with my primer. And I have oily skin, so I get a primer that is matte. Depending on what your skin type is, depends on the primer that you'll need. Now, you've already been to Sephora, you've already been to Ulta, wherever, and you've got a foundation that has been matched by a professional for your skin type. Okay, now depending on what you like to apply your makeup with, your foundation with, you can either use a brush or you can use a beauty blender. Now, I like to place my foundation on the back of my hand. It makes it easier for me to work with. And if I'm going to use a brush, I would dab my brush in that. Now you're going to put a, a little bit. You're not going to put a lot because you're going to you're going to determine how much you want by placing a little all over your face. If you want more coverage, then you can add more foundation. And then you just stipple it all over your face. And what you're doing is pushing it in. You're pushing. Don't drag it because that streaks it. It streaks your foundation. You want to stipple it. Pat it in, push it in. And you want to get all up in your hairline. Now, if you choose to use a beauty blender, so you would do the same thing, dab that into your foundation and push that product into your skin. Now, you want to be sure that you get between your ears. You want to go up in your hairline and push that product into that hairline because you don't want your foundation to stop here and then here's your hairline a totally different color. You want to push that product in. Now, I have a lot of people that don't like to wear foundation on their neck. I personally like to bring it all the way down to my neck because it helps to blend everything in, but it's up to you. Sometimes it makes uh, people itch or it just you know feels uncomfortable so they don't do that but the choice is yours but i like if you do that's this is how you do it you just push it under your chin and bring it down your neck now some people do their ears i don't do all that but if you want to if you think it looks better then that's fine but you just push it all over your your face pushing it pushing the product into your skin until it looks blended in Okay, so after you've applied your foundation, you always set it with a powder. And you just go in and place your powder all over your face to set your foundation. You always want to set your liquid with a powder. Okay, so I'm going to start off with this palette from Tarte. It's a really neutral type palette, neutral colors that will give you a clean beat look. And I'm going to start off with this little champagne color here, and I'm going to place this up under my brow bone. Now, you don't have to have a brown bo brow bone color, but I always, I always like to put, do one. Just a little light champagne color under your brows. And you bring that down slightly. And this is a one, two, three step application. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with my fluffy head brush here. And I'm going to choose this color in my crease. And I'm gonna mix it with these two. Now you don't have to do all that, but I just want it a little lighter than what it is. So I'm mixing it. And don't be afraid to mix your colors. There's nothing wrong with it. And I'm going to put that right in my crease. Right here. Now 
Now, like I said, you don't have to mix colors or anything like that, but I'm just mixing mine because I like it to be, I, w I don't want it to be that dark. I just want it to be a little bit lighter. Placing it right in your crease and working your brush. Don't hold your brush like this and work it in. Lightly hold your brush and just use sweeping motions to blend your shadow in your crease. Okay, and so now we've got just a little wash, a little light wash of color under my brows in my crease area. And now I want to place a color on my lid. You're going to go in with a light color and just, I use my finger a lot of times when working with my lid because it's just easier. And I'm just going to place that color right on my lid. just like that now depending on if you want eyeliner or not but she said simple so we're gonna just keep it really really simple and so I'm gonna go right in with my mascara and I'm just gonna place my mascara on my eyes okay now I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of blush on the balls of my cheeks, just like this. You can get your favorite blush or eyeshadows. You can use eyeshadows as blushes. If you find a pretty eyeshadow and you wanna use it as a blush, go right ahead, honey. And just put that on the balls of my cheeks. Now, if you did wanna do a little bit of contour, you could, and all you would do was just get your bronzer which I'm not going to do all that, but if you did, you just want, you would get your bronzer and you would contour your cheeks. But she just wanted to keep it light, so we'll keep it light. Now, I've placed my mascara. Now, if you did want to add a little lash, you can add a little lash to that, but if not, that's fine. And then, depending on if you're a lipstick wearer or if you're, you just like to wear a little gloss, There you go. And that is your natural light beat. Your light makeup look. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. That's not a problem. You can hit me up on Instagram, 82 Gay Gates, 8244, Facebook, Gay Gates, and YouTube, Gay Gay Gates.